Hey guys, time for Weekly Weird News. These days, there are plenty of things to keep us all up at night frozen in crippling existential anxiety. Nuclear war, climate change, robots, the fact that Netflix is making quality content faster than you'll ever be able to watch it. Whew. And bad content too. That too. But one serious threat to humanity may have finally found a solution in a very unlikely place. You see, for years, doctors and scientists have been warning humanity of the very real threat posed by superbugs. Bacteria that has evolved to be highly resistant to antibiotic treatments. I was thinking about the bugs from uh, Starship Troopers, but those too. I guess these are scarier. The antibiotic treatment for those is a couple a, bullets. A, 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 yeah, big gun. And Neil Patrick Harris. Yeah. Uh, if you're the type of person who gets prescribed antibiotics every time you come down with the common cold, even though it's a damn virus and antibiotics don't really do shit, you're especially at risk. And if you're the type of person to skip an antibiotic dose when you're taking them for an actual bacterial infection, or you just stop taking them as soon as you start feeling better, this is all your fault. You did this. You've now let the last strongest members of the bacterial army survive and reproduce, spreading the mutation that made them so resilient. Yeah, this shit's a serious problem, especially in hospitals, which are basically like prison, where the worst of the worst bacteria all get to hang out together. A real suicide squad. <laughs> So there may be hope though, uh, the hero that humanity might have found is the platypus. Ah, God's mistake. Yes, perhaps the most ridiculous animal on earth, next to the naked mole rat, who we previously talked about on the show, and like the naked mole rat, the platypus not only looks absurd and defies all the rules of the animal kingdom, but it also might contain the key to allowing humans to survive some pretty gnarly shit. Specifically, platypus milk is mm. ridiculously antibacterial and could pave the way for a whole new type of antibiotics for humans that's way more effective than what we've currently got. And that's why Luke Skywalker was yeah. shooting that milk in his mouth. Yeah, he was way advanced. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and yes, by the way, this fucking creature feeds its young with milk. I know, it's weird. Uh, we have no idea what it tastes like yet. Uh, if it's anything like the rest of this animal, it could taste like literally anything. It might be really good. Do their penises look like corkscrews? I didn't look up what their penises look like. They're well, probably weird though. You'll tell us in the comments yeah. because I'm sure you're looking it up right now. Uh, now the platypus is a mammal, but it somehow evolved a duck bill and webbed feet. It spends most of its time in the water and instead of giving birth, it lays eggs. Females have two ovaries, but one of them doesn't do anything. Baby platypuses are born with teeth for some reason, but they fall out at an early age. Uh, to add some extra confusion, it's got a beaver tail. When your uh, custom character appears in a cutscene. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, and uh, yeah, oh, like most animals native to Australia, it is venomous. It has an ankle spur that secretes venom strong enough to kill animals the size of dogs and cause what's been described as excruciating pain for humans, along with an increased sensitivity to pain that can last for months. It's also how the platypus got out of the Vietnam War. <laughs> Bone spurs. Yep. <laughs> Those uh, venom spurs, they're just for self-defense though. Uh, however, the platypus is in fact a carnivore. It subsists solely off of shit like worms, larvae, shrimp, and crawfish. Mm. And to hunt its prey, it closes its eyes, ears, and nose and relies solely on electrolocation, detecting changes in electric fields, which you usually only see in saltwater animals like sharks. This animal is wild. But let's get back to that special antibiotic milk. Mm. The reason it's so antibacterial seems to come from the fact that despite platypus mothers possessing mammary glands to produce milk, they don't have teats like pretty much every other mammal. And instead of, they, they just kind of sweat the milk out <laughs> through the pores on its skin. Uh, this is of course way less effective and way less sanitary than the convenience of a nipple, with the milk getting all over the place and potentially contaminated. So the platypus evolved its milk to just kill all the bacteria it comes in contact with before being consumed by its young, while also not attacking any of the good bacteria in the young platypus' di digestive system. Seems like evolving nipples would have been more convenient. Yeah. But hey, this might have worked out for us. Yeah, that antibiotic protein found in the platypus milk is apparently totally unique, with researchers saying they've never seen anything like it out of the more than 100,000 protein structures known to biologists. Under a microscope, it looks like little ringlets, which has earned it the nickname the Shirley Temple protein. Ask your great granddad. Yeah. Uh, because of the- She was hot! <laughs> we were all attracted to Shirley Temple. I mean, she was a child, so- Well, they were kids too back then. It's true. She grew up too, as well. Uh, yeah, she was known for her curly hair. Protein's curly, so it's, it's known for that. It's not known as the Shirley Temple protein because it tastes like Sprite with grenadine in it. Yeah. Or maybe it does. Mm -hmm. It wouldn't be that surprising. Let's I... go. Let's all go down to Australia and try it. But watch yeah. out for those spurs. Just suck it right off its back. Yeah. Uh, anyway, <laughs> just a few years back, the World Health Organization called antibiotic resistance one of the biggest threats to global health. 
And now the platypus might just be the hero the world needs. Yeah. Finally. An the evolutionary is mistake is going to save the world. You all laughed at me. <laughs> well, who's laughing now? <laughs> uh, yeah, in other weird news, Fortnite probably got the best free publicity in video game history last week when Grammy-winning platinum-selling rapper Drake joined Twitch streamer Ninja for a few rounds of Battle Royale gaming. And apparently the boost in publicity for Fortnite made at least a few people really horny. Mm. Pornhub r routinely publishes insights into its analytics on their Pornhub Insights blog. And this week, they revealed that following Drake and Ninja's stream, they saw a noticeable uptick in searches for Fortnite on their platform. Hmm. So aside from simply typing Fortnite into the old Pornaroonie search bar, yeah. uh, the next most popular Fortnite searches were Fortnite Hentai, Fortnite Porn, Fortnite Battle Royale, Fortnite Animation, Fortnite Sex, Fortnite Ass, Fortnite Strip, and Try Not to Nut Fortnite. <laughs> We did it, gamers! Yeah. <laughs> uh, of course, uh, people who get off to Fortnite, they're not monogamous with one game. Mm -hmm. People who search for Fortnite on Pornhub were more likely to search for Overwatch either before or after their Fortnite search than anything else. There's plenty of Rule 34 Overwatch stuff out there. Them butts, them... Overwatch has got all the body types. Yeah, it's true. Now, some other insights include the fact that, unsurprisingly, the searches for Fortnite come mostly from users between 18 and 24, though we're very curious how the hell Pornhub knows how old any of its visitors are. Probably through your webcam. <laughs> yeah. Or Facebook sold them the info. <laughs> Log into Fortnite with your Facebook account. That's an option. Oh, it's convenient. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. <laughs> Kansas is the state where Fortnite porn is most popular, but when looking internationally, Finland is by far the country that has the most Pornhub searches, followed by France and Ireland. So this is all very weird and confusing, and making me very judgmental. Mm -hmm. But it's especially confusing if you actually go on Pornhub and search for Fortnite, which I did this morning. Because mm -hmm. there doesn't seem to actually be much Fortnite porn out there at all. Wait, did there's some? Uh, no. I mean, like, it's mainly just gameplay videos that people upload to Pornhub for some unknown reason. <laughs> Or it's porn that's completely unrelated to Fortnite, aside from the word Fortnite in the title, presumably for search optimization. Yeah. There's a couple like animations, but no. There's more porn or there's more Fortnite gameplay on Pornhub than Fortnite porn. Yeah. I mean they they have like they don't have any like with Overwatch you have very specific characters that yeah. have backstories. Like and cosplay of, uh, Where with Fortnite it's like a bunch of crazy skins and, and the yeah. base characters. Yeah, and the base character girl is Lara Croft with pants. Yeah. She's thick too. She's well proportioned. Mm -hmm. Anyways, it's not shocking that you gamers are all sexual degenerates. Here's some something else that's not at all shocking as well. People who describe themselves as stable geniuses often are not. As we previously covered, Martin Shkreli is going to prison for seven years for securities fraud after one hell of a saga. Uh, the spotlight where he gloated about raising drug prices, purchased a one-of-a-kind Wu-Tang album, and got banned from Twitter for harassment, it was Certainly a, a spotlight, you could call Quite it Quite a that. ride. Uh, the usually cocky Shkreli started crying when he was read his sentence, but before that, during the trial, the judge ordered a psychological evaluation of Shkreli, and Shkreli boasted that he was looking forward to it because it would show that he has an IQ of 150 and no overt psychological issues. Man. He must have watched a lot of Rick and Morty. Mm -hmm. He also said that he was, quote, going to enjoy the psych test results and that he wanted to watch the press squirm when they saw his results. Mm. Those haters. Well, surprise, uh, the psych results are now public and the psychologist who evaluated Shkreli didn't exactly return the results that Shkreli was looking for. Mm. Uh, he instead reported to the court that Shkreli suffers from generalized anxiety disorder, major depressive disorder, and unspecified personality disorder. The exam also found that Shkreli's behavior was consistent with a narcissistic outlook, faulty judgment, a sense of entitlement, and denial and rationalization in order to preserve his self-image. The court filing also states, also salient is a seeming preoccupation with thoughts of success and a rather undisciplined imagination that takes liberties with reality at times. Prosecutors also noted in the filing, Dr. Salzberg's report does not state that Shkreli has an IQ of 150. Uh, it's worth noting that Dr. Salzberg was chosen specifically because he wasn't aware of who Shkreli was and was ordered to not look into it at all uh, to uh, preserve his impartiality. So, it's not a deep state, or is it? I don't believe you. I, I don't know. So, uh, despite coming in from as an outsider, uh, the court filing states, even based on the limited information that he did review, Dr. Salzberg's report is replete with observations of Shkreli's propensity to lie and obfuscate due to his overconfidence, his refusal to admit failure, and his fundamental, unshakable belief that the ends always justify the means, no matter the cost. At this point, though, we're not sure if Shkreli really feels the ends justify the means anymore, considering 
the end is him in prison. It's, he's in prison for seven years. Yeah. So. He can't listen to any Wu-Tang albums in there either. I don't know, maybe he had such a good time. Was it worth it? Years, yeah. Was it worth it? Would I do it all again? Sure. I was good at it. I was good at being the biggest <laughs> dick in the world. People loved it. <laughs> well, let's get on to headlines. Starting with, Lindsay Lohan appointed new spokesperson of Lawyer.com. Yeah, I mean, Lawyer.com, like, that's the website when you have no connections whatsoever and you're just literally like, I need a lawyer. Well, let's go to Lawyer.com. Yeah. It's like, you just, don't even have a family friend to ask. Yeah, you have, do you know yeah, anyone? Yeah. Who got you out of your DUI conviction? Porn.com, lawyer.com. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Everybody knows that T-Blop is the site to go to for porn. Big list of porn. Uh, yeah, the, the whole ad's like, she's just like, yeah, they'll get you out of a DUI, and I should know. <laughs> I'm Lindsay Lohan. I'm, I'm a, a fucking mess. Fucking mess. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's, uh, if I trust this website, it's obvious that you should trust it too. It's very sad, because, uh, well, it's not sad. She did Sad's a way to put it. But it's, it's, this is the most notable thing she's done since um, defending Harvey Weinstein and uh, getting mad at people for bullying Donald Trump. And suing Grand, Grand Theft Auto. Auto. Oh yeah, that too. Yeah, I forgot about that. Mm -hmm. So yeah, well, get that, getting paid, Lindsay? Probably not enough. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. North Pole branch of Blockbuster to close. Oh, that's the real last one, right? Or no, there's one in Alaska. There's, uh, so now, now as it stands, there's four left in Alaska. Two left in Oregon. This one was in the in Alaska, in the town of North Pole. Ah, okay. Which is near Fairbanks. Yeah. So it's not the actual North Pole, but close enough. And the reasoning behind this is because in Alaska, the internet yeah, the internet there, sucks. And there's there's so many remote parts that it actually is better to go and rent a movie and bring it back to your log cabin or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Pop it in the old DVD player. Yeah. And you're good to go. Now they don't have that. Yeah. I hope they at least have a red box. A red tube box. Porn yeah. stores are probably doing great yeah. up there. Yeah, the magazine business for porn probably doing yeah. great. It's great. Yeah. Well, anyway. well, if you really want to get away from it all and unplug for a while, head up to Alaska, the last remaining true, real state in the world. Yeah. Real America. And see, that's where real America is. It's so real, it's separated from the rest of America by hundreds of miles. Yeah, that, the Alaska, it used to be connected. They're like, eh, I think we're good. We're going to walk up here. Let Canada be the barrier. Yeah. Yeah. Are they putting a wall on the uh, southern border of Alaska too? They should. Yeah. I'm sure tons of Canadians are really itching to sneak up into Alaska yeah. for all that freedom and bears. Yeah, and blockbusters. And uh, <laughs> terrible gender <laughs> ratios. Yeah. Well, there you go. How many women you got? Three? <laughs> <Come Wow! around. laughs> UK Defense Secretary tells Russia, go away and shut up. Go away. Shut, shut up. Shut up. That'll show them. Yeah. I'm sure it'll it'll work too. Hey, stop poisoning our people. Didn't get they, out of here. Didn't Russia just claim that it was the US that used the nerve agent? Yeah, but uh, well, I mean, they're never going to admit to it. But and and you're never going to be 100% sure where it came from. Yeah. But also, it's like a specific strain of a very specific nerve agent that is pretty much only available through the Russian government. Mm. It'd be a hell of a hot I guess we'll never know. We'll never know. Yeah. We'll never know, guys. But they need to go away and shut up. <laughs> a stern talking to is what they need. Get out of here. We've tried. Shut up. <laughs> We've tried sanctions. They need to send Adam Sandler over to Russia. Shut up. <laughs> and then he just punches him. <laughs> Adam Sandler needs to be our defense system. He's real strong in his movies. He always writes himself to be yeah, a big tough guy. Punching people. Yeah. Getting beat up. Yeah. Woman mistakes jail security booth for drive through tries to order breakfast sandwich, gets arrested. For what? Being wasted and driving up to Oh, her. she was drunk, okay. Yeah, that part was left out of the she headline. Driving around, yeah, she was drunk and on coke. There was just <laughs> white powder all over her face. She drove up to the fucking booth where you go to the visitation for the jail. Give me a breakfast sandwich. No. Ma'am, this is a jail. Just shut up. Go away and shut up and give me a breakfast sandwich. I'll give me breakfast, but uh, it's gonna... We have to put you in a cell. We'll give you the best breakfast in town. Yeah, well, be breakfast. best breakfast in a quarter mile radius at least. Yeah. So. Florida woman sets fire to car she locked herself into to nap, deputies say. So she, lo she, she set it on fire while she was in it napping. It wasn't her car. She went, oh. into, she went to a car dealership. Someone else's car. Went inside of one of the cars for sale yeah. to take a nap. I think she might be homeless. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, went into one of the dealership cars. It must have had a child lock on or something because she got stuck inside. 
So she's like, well, shit, I'm gonna smoke a cigarette. And then she dropped the cigarette, lit, no! lit the seats on fire. What else could go wrong? Like, how do I get out of here? None of the doors are open. So she kicked out the windshield, tried to get out she's that way. strong. Yeah, she's got that homeless strength. I guess that so. Homeless Adam Sandler strength. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Scabbity do! Scabbity do! Out goes the window. Anyways, that's fun. Cops warn residents of men challenging others to rap battles. <laughs> hey, it. look out! Look out! Hey, if you see anyone, if you see anyone rap battling in the neighborhood, let us know. Yeah, it's was, it was like just guys in a one report of a guy, a group of guys in a SUV pulling up and being like, "Hey, you kids want a rap battle?" And the kids are like, "No." no. They're like. All right, and they drove away. That's what I thought. This they, is our block. And the kids reported it to the police for some reason. So they was like, "Be careful." There's people out there challenging people to rap battles. I think the police did it as a way to like teach the kids that if you do, you know, talk to the police, something will happen. They didn't want to like dishearten the kids by being like, "Wow, that, I like." So they see someone get killed, and they're like, "Well, last time I talked to the police, they didn't do anything." You might be right. I don't know. What they need is more of that McGruff guy. Yeah, McGruff the crime dog. Yeah, he'll get to the bottom of he it. He released a whole album of Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They, they, the kids a, need to recruit McGruff to do yeah. the rap battle. You should look up the McGruff album. Each song is about a different drug. Yeah. Marijuana is bad. <laughs> don't do coke. If you do it, you're a joke. Yeah. There's, it, he sings as a dog. Fucking, it's, it's fucking great. Got some fire tracks. Yeah. Yeah. Romanian man requests the annulment of his death declaration. Loses case. You're dead. Yeah, I mean, he might be the first real vampire in Romania. That's true. Yeah, because we know <laughs> from experience. The, yeah, the whole Vlad the Impaler. I wait, he's tepish. He's tepish. He's Vlad tepish. Yeah, this guy he left fucking Romania yeah. in like the '90s to go to like Turkey for a job, and then just stopped returning his family's calls. Yeah, and so they were like, "Oh, I guess he's dead." <laughs> then he came back like 20 years later. He's like, "I'm back." And they're like, "Don't you, don't you miss mm, me?" Ah. Kind of reported you dead like five years ago, and. We don't really A little bit of an it. administrative pain in the ass to reverse it, so yeah. you're officially dead. Sorry, bro. Anyways, you live in Braun Castle now. Yeah. Yeah, with that crazy guy that dresses we, up like Vlad. We can't give you life back, but you are now officially a vampire, mm -hmm. and that castle over there is yours. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's not a bad deal. All you have to do is dress up like Vlad the Impaler and welcome and all the guests. <laughs> yeah, spook him. <laughs> hey, it's devilish. <laughs> oh, man. It's a, it's a, if you're looking for a weird vacation, it is a strange country. It's very strange. Very cheap though. Yeah. <laughs> and dogs are everywhere. If you, you like, out, if you like dogs, you're gonna, you're gonna love yeah. Romania. And if you like blatant displays of street walking prostitution, go down to the Radisson Blue in uh, downtown Bucharest. They had to brush them out with a broom every <laughs> oh, night. Shoot, Come on, shoot. <laughs> please. <laughs> we have guests. This is a classy Western hotel. Yeah. Also, the scenes from Borat, the uh, gypsy scenes. Oh yeah, we drove through that we town. We drove through that town. And it's fucking. Crazy. I thought we were gonna get, they were gonna block the road <laughs> and stop us. Yeah, they're gonna form a mob and knock the bus over. Yeah, what do they do? Well, Eat they us. drag stones from the river up to the town. Yeah, that's what they do. It's a crazy place. Mm hmm. French baker fined 3,000 euros for working too much. Come on, man, this is French. Chill out. You're gonna yeah. get us all in trouble. Have a fucking glass of wine and a cigarette. Yeah. It's like, you ever work at like a shitty fucking retail job? One guy's just working his ass on Hey, like, dude, what kill the it. fuck are you doing? <laughs> Cut it out. Hey, <laughs> hey, teacher, didn't you give us homework last night? Hey, shut the fuck up, man. <laughs> yeah. What are you doing? We have set a precedent for being bad and slow at this. Yeah. Stop it. Yeah, stop it. Chill. You're going to make us all have to work hard. Chill. But uh, yeah, apparently, <laughs> apparently, it's illegal to work too much. What a paradise. What a paradise. What they a all, country. They all take vacations for like two months out of the year. And, and you, like, they, they have to like, you have to apparently cut all ties with the business too. Like yeah. they can't contact you during yeah. it. Yeah. What a dream. Yeah, they're not allowed to contact you on weekends and shit. Yeah. Perfect. Great bread there too. Also, if you hear anything, it's because it's fucking pouring down rain on a tin roof right now. Yeah. Anyways. Hot tin roof. Yeah. Cold tin roof. Yeah, that rain is dancing. You are only allowed one overdose sign removed from Wooshta Burger King. Was it put up as a joke by like a No, apparently artist? they had too many, uh, a lot of people just overdosing at Burger King. Well, yeah, I mean, you, you, of course you go into they're a like, public restroom to shoot up heroin. Yeah, so they, they're like, all right, the first time we'll call 911. The second time, though, we're leaving we're your calling ass in the there. cops. Yeah. Well, I mean, cool, I guess. I mean, it, it, I think that the law still stands, even though there's not a sign. <laughs> it's implied. It, yeah. yeah. They took it. Go down to the 7-Eleven and overdose. They don't have bathrooms there. No bathrooms, sir. Yeah. 
Indian children's book lists Hitler as leader who will inspire you. So is that just a trans translation error? No, he's on the cover of the book next to like Nelson Mandela, Barack Obama, uh, Gandhi, I think. Hmm. And the book, they're like, look, he inspired people. He was very good at talking. Yeah, you don't have to be inspired to do good things. We're not endorsing that whole genocide aspect of yeah. it. He was just a very inspiring leader. He got, yeah. he really united Germany by getting rid of the people who didn't unite. Yeah. I don't know, they, they, the India and like the Middle East and Asia, they, a lot of them weren't involved in World War II mm -hmm. at all. So their version of history is uh, a bit odd. Yeah. Apparently Hitler fashion is real big in Thailand. <laughs> Whatever. Because he's just a character. Yeah. It's like a Disney character. Yeah. Yeah. U.S. Senate candidate wants to buy guns for homeless people. Yeah, that woman was gonna protect him. She would if she wouldn't have had to kick out the the windshield. If she had, she a, had gun, a gun. She could she shoot, just it shoot it out. Shoot it out. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So this guy, he's running as a libertarian. Mm. And uh, yeah, he he thinks the homeless need to be armed. Was that a part of Atlas Shrugged? Uh, I don't know. I gave up after ten thousand pages. Yeah. Well, I'm sure it was in there. Somewhere. I don't know what could go wrong. No, absolutely. Yeah. Homeless people are never uh, psychologically erratic. And unpredictable. They're they're never violent. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I mean, this is money that could obviously not possibly be spent on any other. And as we all to know, improve their lives. And as we all know, they all keep gun safes. Yeah. To store the weapon. Yeah. 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 So I don't see a problem. So I say we spend the money to arm the homeless. Yes. And maybe they'll go hunt their food. I don't know. Yeah. Let them protect the schools. Yeah. Then they can yeah. sleep in it. Yeah. The only way to stop. A bad kid with a gun is a deranged homeless man with a gun. Yeah, who lives in the school now. Yeah, because that's not just a kid that's with a gun. That's 24 hour protection. He doesn't just see a kid with a gun. He sees a three-headed devil with a gun. Yeah, he'll there see you all go. three heads. Speaking of laws. Alabama lawmaker says we shouldn't arm teachers because most are women. <laughs> they're How are they gonna fire it with their dainty arms? That's pretty much what he's saying. Yeah. He's just like, <laughs> women are usually scared of guns. They, they're not very good at guns. There's a big problem here. We want to arm the teachers, but I looked into it. Most of these teachers are women. Yeah. So. They're just gonna be like, they're gonna drop the gun, and it's gonna, it's gonna shoot fire them. everywhere. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. There's the their long fingernails. They can't get it. <laughs> they can't get their finger on the trigger. <laughs> Listen, the idea that that teachers should have guns is the bad idea. Yeah. First and foremost. Yeah. Well, yeah. But it looks like that bill is going through the Alabama state legislature and. Uh, so far has overwhelming support. I think if that's Except for this guy who raises uh, a point, I guess. The, the point is, is like, if this is what it takes for Republican lawmakers to be like, you know what, maybe it's not a good idea, then I guess it is a net positive. <laughs> like if a bunch of like Republicans are like, yeah, you know what? He's right. He's right. We should fire all the women. We should ban women from we teaching. We should make homeless people teachers. Yeah. Homeless men. <laughs> homeless veterans. Yeah. Homeless Marines. I guess we solved the problem. Yeah. We solved the problem of finding jobs for veterans, arming them, and protecting schools. Yeah. Nice. You can have that one for free. And finally, 12-year-old makes out Will just in case he dies in school shooting. Jesus. Not really Christ. funny, just sort of fucked up. Yeah, because what does he even have to give away? Uh, his PlayStation. His games. Uh, probably some Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I think I pulled the wrong part of this deadline <laughs> out. <laughs> yeah, it's stupid, because he doesn't even own anything. His parents own it. That's ridiculous. He doesn't even have property. If I was that kid's dad, I'd say, like, actually, I own that stuff. Yeah. No will needed. <laughs> done and done. Yeah, so if any of you out there at 12, make sure you have a will, because... No, don't, because your parents fucking bought you everything. Well, it's like, you die in a school shooting, and then your parents are gonna just give their PlayStation to your stupid brother, who's, like, yeah. not even good at games. Yeah. You should will it to your best friend. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. And and get those GoFundMe accounts opened now. Yeah. Just preemptively. Yeah. Anyways, that's it for Weekly Weird News this week. Be sure to check out a brand new episode of Tech News Day and a brand new episode of Tugs where we talk about how the Paul Brothers, we should start calling them the Paul Bearers, are, are joining Twitch and that's there's nothing you can do about it. Sorry. Bye. <laughs>